Concerning the four bay, two bay antennas, the bow tie antennas, when you're building these, you have your insulator. Here's your bow tie. Here's your bow for your bow tie. That's sitting under my hardware. The next thing that needs to come along is a phase wire. And what you need, what the issue is here, and everyone has this, where you place that phase wire, you have to have good contact. Now, if you lay it under this side, you tighten your screw down. And it seems tight. But that, as you can see, it gives you a goofy looking joint. And it doesn't hold very well. And people have folded the bows down. People have embedded the phase line into the insulator, which doesn't work very well because it continues to sink in whatever your insulator is made of. They've tried to put it on the back side. They tried to put it under. They tried to put it over. They tried to every which way. It is a issue. Now I've come up with a solution to the issue to build a good bow tie and solve this issue with the phase line. It involves wrapping around that joint, but it's very difficult to do because you have three of these in a line and your measurements have to be exact. And I build them on a jig I made up and it works out well for me. How I did this was you have a regular loop in your bow tie and I made loops in the phase wire and I made a loop to go and face in this direction and a loop to face in this direction so that when it tightens down the washer should be on top of them but for demonstration that'll give you a nice joint it gives you a nice flat setting joint that won't fall apart on you the issue is finding finding and executing the next bend without changing the distance between your two bends. Actually, you need three of them. You need three of these in a row. And it's a little more difficult of a problem than the gray Hoverman bends. Um, I'll try to show this. I haven't made a video yet. I'll make something up, but I'm just showing you that there is an issue here. When you just have a bow tie, and you have a wire which you have to have a phase wire you're going to get a lopsided joint and you guys have gone through you can see on the internet all the stuff they went through now without soldering and even with soldering you're going to get a sloppy looking joint it's a matter of what you want your antenna to look like if you want it to look good if you want to be able to show your friends and say i built that or if you just want a piece of crap you can put up and it gets tv and you don't care that's up to you but you have to have good contact there and there is a way to do it and you will get good contact and it's simple it's clean um, I need to work on this I'll put something up but in the meantime just know there's an issue right there there's an issue with the uh, with the phase lines